In this short video, I'm going to show you how to subtract dates in Excel. To subtract dates in Excel, there is an easy to use function called date diff that we are going to use. Now, this function does not appear in the list of functions. However, it does still work. So this is what I'm going to cover in this video. The syntax of date diff is start date, end date, and then our unit. So we can count the number of years, months, or days between our two dates. So what I'm going to do is equals, and then I'm going to type date diff. So you will see here that it does not appear in this list of functions. However, this does still work. So I'm going to add my first parentheses. Now the first argument is our start date. So this is my start date and then comma and then end date. And then for our unit, what we want to do is put either Y, M or D in quotation marks. So I'm going to do a Y first to count the number of years between these two dates. And you can see there is two years between these two dates. But if you want to do months, you could change this to an M. So that's 28 months. Or if you wanted to do days, you could change this to a D. So there's 867 days between these two dates. And that is how to subtract dates in Excel.